I know. Just come back from the doctor's. So I'm walking home. Well, I didn't see a doctor, so a psychiatric nurse. And the meeting went very well. Yeah, this is where I live. This is quiet. Can be a busy road, especially when the children are at school. It starts to get busy about half three. But two o'clock's quite a good time to make a video. There's park over there. Part of the park. I've passed most of it. It's just houses basically. Bus. Yeah, in London, all the buses are red. Police car. Oh, they've stopped there, have they? No, they're moving on. Mm. So, I hope no one's hurt. Maybe, maybe a cat is... She keeps phoning me. She's gone now, my daughter. Always awkward times. As you can see, it's quite nice. Where I live. It's quite a lot of trees. That one's nice. I'm not sure what that is though. Don't think it's a British species. Yeah, when the, when it's busy, you can't hear my voice. It just sounds like loads of dinosaurs in the background. Like I'm in Jurassic Park. So I just thought this might be interesting to people that don't live in England. Or the UK. It's, I live in a suburb. A London suburb. It's all right. It's not bad. It's quite clean. Clean and tidy. I won't show you my house. <laughs> Just the garden, front garden's a right mess. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Right. Another little road to cross. Do you have this in your country? It's for the blind people. I try not to di direct my phone at anyone. Oh, my handbag fell off, fell off my shoulder. Just make sure I haven't left anything important on the floor. No, I haven't. Getting nearer now. It's a bit of an uphill walk, this part, and then it goes downhill, but it's not steep. I like it when it's like this and there's not a lot of traffic. I 
It's very warm today. I'd say it's about 25, 26. That's warm for me. I don't like the heat. It's not much for you to see except cars. So it's a bit boring. That's just cars everywhere, parked cars. A lot of cars in this country. Yeah, the roads are quite narrow as well. Because a lot of these houses are built, not so much here, but in London, a lot of the houses are built when it was still carriages, horses and carriages. Mind you, you needed quite right, wide roads for those. So in London, central London, they had wide roads. But in the rural parts, obviously not. Where's the sun? It's right above my head to the right. Can you look at the pavement? It's the right mess. It's like patchwork quilt. They sort the roads out. Well, look at the roads in a minute. Yeah. Bad roads, bad pavements. I think there's too many people squashed into one area, basically. We're all squashed into London. If you live outside London, like in the rural parts, you're either very rich or you're struggling. People tend to keep, um, people around here tend to keep their garden, gardens very neat. There's a man approaching in a blue top and make sure I don't catch him on camera. I pot just point to the gardens. That's a bit plain that one. Gardens aren't that great in summer. Spring's the best time. Yeah, spring. May. May is lovely. So the garden's a bit plain at the moment, but in spring they're, they're much better. Yeah, everything dries out in the heat, doesn't it? And it doesn't rain much, so the plants die. And the grass goes yellow. Yeah, we've had quite a few hot days recently in Britain. Oh, I don't know about Scotland. They tend to get cooler weather. The south is hot is the hottest place, obviously. Especially the southeast. Lots of new buildings, housing over there. They're not public housing though, they're private. It probably costs quite a bit of money to rent. I think they look boring. I like the old style Victorian or Edwardian homes, but most of them have been demolished now. You can still find Tudor houses that have been restored. They've got very low ceilings, 
because people were a lot smaller in those days. Yeah, a man was only about five foot four and a woman was only about five foot, something like that. So we're a lot taller than our ancestors. Trying to show you some flowers when I see some. They're nice. Yeah, but most gardens don't have a lot of flowers now. Shame, isn't it? That's nice. Oh, I nearly fell over then. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not drunk. Right, I think you get a rough idea what it's like where I live. It's quite nice. It's nothing exciting. I'm not near the high street. The nearest high street is called Farnborough High Street, and that's about that would take me about 25 minutes to get there, which I'm too tired to do now. So this this is the most walking. I've done in a long time, and that's why I'm out of breath. Seem to recognise that lady. Maybe not. All right, I'm going to say goodbye now. Because I'm really hot. I was going to say flaked out, but you might not know what that means. It just means tired. Really, really tired, and yeah, a few more minutes and I'll be home. My house is nothing special, it's small, and the garden's a mess. Alright then, I'll say goodbye, and I hope you like this video.